The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, one of the great uh, advantages of Canada in the world, of Canadians in the world, is that we continue to be a country that understands that immigration is a source of opportunity and growth and richness for this country. One of the other great advantages we have is we have an immigration system that is able to adjust to different realities. In the years after the pandemic, uh, there was a need uh, for more temporary workers, there was a desire for more international students, and we let more in, uh, working with the provinces and businesses across the country. As uh, we see the situation shift, as the Bigger market shifts. We're making changes to the immigration system so that we can keep its support. That's great. Right. Right. The honourable leader of the opposition, Mr. Speaker, there's nothing compassionate about it. inviting people without a place for them to live or health care for them to have or jobs that provide them with paychecks. He has destroyed our immigration system through his own personal incompetence and destroyed a 150-year common sense consensus between Liberals and Conservatives on that subject. He cannot fix what he broke on immigration, housing or anything else because he's busy fighting his own caucus. Why won't he call a carbon tax election so that we can restore Canada's promise where anyone who comes here and works hard can have a good life, a safe street and a warm home? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker. The work we are focused on is on the middle class and people working hard to join it, and we have delivered over these past years. And in these times of global strife and pressures, that is exactly what we are doubling down on, on investing in building homes, investing in strengthening our immigration system so that it can match the challenges we're in right now, in moving forward on putting more money in people's pockets, even as we create strong jobs and growth for the future. The Bank of Canada just really reduced interest rates because inflation is now down to low inflation once again. We are managing this country responsibly. We're continuing to invest in its future. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, Canada makes every single one of us a promise. If you work hard, you get a good life. That promise, like everything else after nine years of this NDP Liberal Prime Minister, is broken. Now, he's broken countless promises, but this one is different. This wasn't his promise to break. It belonged to all of us. Now that he has destroyed the immigration, the housing market, the cost of living, will he call a carbon tax election so that we can bring home Canada's promise? 